everyone welcome back today we're going to do a oval shape base okay with purple flower and it. it's pretty let's start all right i did not record the part i prepare my paper okay here i just say that and so you can do it so okay and i use a white on the bottom and then wait until it's dry use a tape and tape the bottom and then use it black for the top part okay and then you tear off the tape wait until it's dry so it come out the result like this right now oh what i am sketching out the flowers all right and that is already dried all right and then we start painting our flower base today i want to do this because you know when you have a, a base oval shape or just regular base the light is very important so that's why i want to do another one and to show you how you make with the color okay we set how the base look like all right and as you can see the first layer you just put a brown that's all okay you just cover all over and then you you start saying i get different colors little by little because today our painting is a horror sonic and then it doesn't show my color tree on the other side too much so and but look carefully you can see the color changing okay so i got a little dark but it's not black color okay it was dark brown and then i do the center you see that's a little shallow there and then i do get some light color but pay attention okay i did not change my brush so i went get white color and then you can see i put a little light on the outside of the base okay and then i do curve lines follow all right follow the shape on the outside edge and then i take in the brush on the inside to the base and then you can see it become look wrong okay that's it that is very important how you set up your image how they look like and the shape of the the thing you're painting okay so you need to put curve lines either up and down or sideways okay and when you put a light it's not just solid light it just a little bit scratch through here and there and you see after all this i add in the colors different and then you actually can see it can like stand out a little it's not just like when you put a brown okay and now you see i did the other big brush now i changed to a smaller one i want to do smaller lines on the outside edge you can just shape up your thing from the background it stand out okay and that so that's why i said when you watch something to learn and then you don't do it in the same time you should watch first either two or three times to get some ideas also you see what am i doing okay then once you're doing it you can have an idea and what you supposed to do what brush you want to change into and what color you need put in the tree okay yeah and then also what color you're going to make is lighter brighter or a little darker for the shadows all right and this layer i put lighter color than before like i said last time i mentioned when i do the light part i did not change my brush okay so it can getting some brown from the brush and that even though it's a lighter color but still have a color in it it's not totally white okay in the end you add white color for the highlight part okay i just get back some dark color and actually it's a little different than the background dark okay every time the color have a slightly change that's the way how you do it okay sometimes that part is darker because it doesn't have that much sun hit the spot okay it's a shallow but doesn't mean shallow is 
black color. But somewhere is really heating, so it's dark. Okay, that's why you need to go back and forth, getting the the feeling of it. All right. So right now I think it, it because we do the light color, and then sometimes still have some dark showing in the back. That's why I'm going back to put a dark color. It doesn't mean you do it wrong. Okay, this doesn't mean that. So. This is the way I do paintings. That's make three D looking like this, standing out. But when you see it, it's not totally flat. Okay, the surface have some shallow, some part have a deeper, somewhere have holes and stuff like that. You know, so you have to put a little details in. But for what you can see from the flat, the first layer of brown, and what is transforming to now, how it looks, okay, it's totally different. But you know, like at this point, I stop doing the base here. I just add a little shadow on the bottom, but doesn't mean it's done, okay. I have to add light color. Like I said, you put the highlight in the end, okay. So right now I just let it dry because sometimes you may have to leave it let it dry a little, so you can put white, like totally white color in, to make the bright. Okay, the last step. So right now while、well, it's waiting, so I do the top part. Okay, we do the flowers. Today the important part is I want to show is on the vest. Okay. So that's why the flower is not too much details in it. So you know, I like to keep my video short so you don't get bored to watch. Okay, and but if you like to do flowers, I have a, a, other bunch of、uh, videos that's painting flowers, bushes, trees, and leaves. You can get an idea from there. Okay. Also, like the preparing paper, those parts. If you think、uh, you don't know how to do it. You can go back,、uh, my video. I have other videos that's doing the preparing, okay. And the same is just this time is a black and white color, okay. Remember, you need to wait until the white dry and tape it the bottom part, and then you go dark color on the top, and then you tear out, okay. Remember, okay. If not, you messed up your colors. Okay, well, I'm talking here. Yeah, I already did the bushes here for the flower. Okay, and you can see、um, when maybe you watch the second time, you don't have to listen to what I'm explaining, and then you just more focus on what am I doing. Okay, and then you can actually see the changes each steps I do. Okay. And the first layer, it it can just shape up everything, and then I add dark color, light color, and green color in, and then you will see it become like stand out from the background because you see our background is a dark color, okay, and then our bushes also dark, right? And then now is this step is important. That's what I always say, the highlight, okay. So this time, because the light hitting that spot, that make those little bushes there is very bright. Okay, and then so you add in that, and then you see that stand out from the picture. Okay, so every thing you pay attention, look at them, give a good detail, looking, checking on the colors. They are all in different. It's not like you see it's green. It's just green, okay? There's yellow in it. There's light green in it, and there's some parts really hitting by the light. It's kind of white, okay? That's the details in. That's where you you can do with details, okay? So if you are not that like like to do painting, spend so long time, and you just forget it, those little details. And do the shape as long as it look beautiful, and as long as you satisfy with it. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to copy my painting exact. All right, it's do yours and your own. Yeah, and your decision when you stop. 
all right okay and then as you see i put a several layers of the leaves okay i put yellow okay i put white for the light now we we'll go back to the flowers and then the flower is pretty easy we just put some dot okay there's no much in it so and then later on we just get a white color shape up the flower a little and then the top part will be done that's easy okay that's why i said today we focus on the base more and then the top i did not do much okay all right we use purple for the flowers i have a question here since you watched my video several times, do you know what color to use to make purple? Mix purple color, okay? Use red and blue. Yeah, and have fun with making colors, okay? And that's make very unique painting. Each person do it differently, all right? Because every time you make thing the color, it may be not the same exact, all right? that's great so now i'm adding a little bit light purple and the whole thing all right and you can see i changed to a very thin brush and just getting white color for the outside edge of each flower petals right and that's a ship up it looks like a flower like i said today is not that much details you just circle up a few flower petals and that's all it just make look like no need to be exact yeah that's as long as your image look pretty yeah that's good enough all right and for practicing this one i suggest you to do so okay it is very difficult to do shapes like round oval ball like shining like glass okay like that so you practice more and you get more skills for doing this type of things okay and yeah you see after we add the light color and shape up each flower petals and then you see our flowers look a little better than before even though without too much details yet okay and now i think the leaf is not bright enough so i'm going back and get some yellow and mix in a tiny bit green okay and not that yellow and yellow so sometimes i say yellow it doesn't mean just yellow i mix in maybe a little just to match whatever we have the background color okay at this point the background color doesn't mean the whole picture background only the butcher's background okay yeah and then you see uh, a little bit warm color in the image start looking prettier okay and that's why it's very important for colors and once you're done and you check in your painting you feel like oh you need some changes and they just do it so okay and uh, like i said as long as you satisfy with your painting then you can stop right there no problem all right and after a few color in see our plant on the up also not looking that bad huh so it matches our picture pretty well i think all right i just shape up a few leaves to make more better okay yeah and those little details are like up to you you want to add in or not okay it's not a problem yeah and that's why this part i did not slow down that much because i'm not sure some people they like to do that much all right i just shape up the edges for the flower pot a little bit in the video here add a little bit shallows on the bottom and then as you see i add in a little white and the shallow part that's lying there okay that's separated from the table and the base keep working on it even though i did not record it okay and then you can do so too and that's the final looking all right we're done for today if you like my video please subscribe and share okay i'll see you next time Bye-bye.